Canvas, course content is organized in modules. Modules are kind of like folders and can hold and organize any type of course content. If I click this arrow to expand the module, you can see that this module contains files, pages, assignments, tests, and discussions. This is in contrast to the individual tabs, which can only contain one type of item. For example, the Pages tab is only for creating and storing pages. It is best practice to have your students access the course content through the modules rather than having them click on the individual tabs to find each type of item they need to access or complete. In the video in this module called Arranging and Hiding Tabs in the Navigation menu, I'll show you how to hide all of the tabs that you don't want your students to access. If I click on my Files tab, for instance, I can see all the files for the whole course, and I don't want my students to have to scroll through all of these to try and find the study guide or lecture notes or whatever it is they need for the week. Now the way you organize your modules depends on the delivery method of your course as well as what suits your needs best. Online and hybrid courses generally have a separate module for each week, allowing students to find all of the resources and assignments they have to do for the week in one place. Face-to-face -face courses may not need a separate module for each week, although you could certainly still choose to set it up that way. But you might decide that having one module for PowerPoints, one for handouts, and one for videos, for example, would work just fine for your face-to-face -face course. After you've decided how you want to organize your course, you can start creating modules. To create a module, go to the Modules tab, and then click on the Plus Module button in the upper right-hand corner. Give your module a descriptive name, and if you want, set a lock until date. This will keep the students from accessing the module and its contents until the date you have chosen. Then click Add Module. New modules always go down to the bottom, which works in this case, but if you want to move the module, you can just drag and drop it to wherever you want it to go. Now notice that these two modules have green checks by them, but the one that I just created doesn't. This means that this module is not published, so students won't be able to access it or even see it. Since I already set a date for this module to open automatically, I'm going to go ahead and publish it by clicking on this icon next to the plus sign. Even when the module is published, it still won't be accessible to students until the unlock date. Now I'm ready to add items to my module. I can do that by clicking the plus sign within the module and selecting the type of item I want to add from the drop-down menu. I can add any type of item to the module within Canvas from this menu. If I want to add a file, for example, I can add a file that I have already uploaded to my course by selecting the file from the list. If I hold in control, I can select multiple items at once. Or, if I want to add a new file that has not been uploaded to my course yet, I can click the New File button and then click Choose File to select a file that's on my computer. I can click Add Item and now that file has been added to this module. I can repeat this process to add any other type of items that I want to from my course to the module. After adding items, I can easily rearrange them by just dragging them and dropping them where I want them to go. If at any time I need to remove an item from my module or edit the item's name, I can come to my kebab on the right hand side and click edit. I could edit the title from here. I also could indent an item if I wanted to. If I needed to edit my module's name or date or delete it, I can click on the kebab that's next to the module and click Edit. Now that I've added items to this module, I have an additional option here that I can add requirements to the module. From here, I can decide what items I want to require my students to complete by choosing all of the items 
or selecting individual items from the drop-down menu. I can also select what qualifies as the student completing the item. Is it just viewing it, marking it as done, submitting it, contributing to a page, or scoring a minimum amount? I can also designate a previous module as a prerequisite for this one. If I set requirements for the prerequisite module, the students won't be able to access this module until they've completed all of the requirements for the previous one. When you're finished selecting any prerequisites or requirements, click Update Module. Setting up modules this way is, of course, optional, but it has the benefit of helping to control the order in which students access the course content as well as providing a way for students to check off the items that they have completed in the module.